Hello everyone, welcome to Mastermind. Today let us learn about Chalukyas of Badami by solving few multiple choice questions. Consider the first question. Consider the following statements regarding Chalukyas of Badami. Pulakeshi I was the founder of the Chalukya dynasty. Pulakeshi I had Vatapi as his capital. Here, both the statements are correct. Therefore, the right option is option C, both 1 and 2. Pulakeshi I was the founder of the Chalukya dynasty. Vatapi, also known as Badami. Vatapi is the old name of Badami and this was the capital of Pulakeshi 1. Consider the second question now. Consider the following statements regarding Chalukyas of Badami. Pulakeshi 2 defeated Pallavas in his first expedition against the Pallavas. Hyun Sang visited the Chalukya kingdom under the reign of Pulakeshi 2. Both the statements are correct. Therefore, the right option is option C, both 1 and 2. Pulakeshi 2. In his first expedition against the Pallava, he emerged victorious. However, he suffered a humiliating defeat at the hands of Narasimha Varman in the later expedition. In the later expedition against the Pallavas, he suffered a humiliating defeat at the hands of Narasimha Varman 1. Narasimha Varman 1. And Narasimha Varman captured and destroyed Vatapi. Therefore, Pulakeshi 2 defeated Pallavas in his first expedition against the Pallavas. However, he suffered a humiliating defeat at the hands of Narsimha Varman 1 near Kanchi. Near Kanchi and the Pallavas plundered the capital Vatapi. Hyun Sang visited the Chalukya kingdom under the reign of Pulakeshi 2. This is one of the most important event in the rule of Pulakeshi 2. Please remember these points. Third question says, consider the following statements regarding Chalukyas of Badami. The administration of Chalukya was highly decentralized. Village autonomy was the cornerstone of Chalukyan administration. Here, both the statements are false. Therefore, the right option is option D, neither one nor two. The administration of Chalukya was highly centralized. Whereas, the administration of Pallavas and Cholas, Pallavas and Cholas were highly decentralized, not the administration of Chalukya. Village autonomy was absent under the Chalukyan administration. It was not present. Chalukyas had a great maritime power. Pulakeshi too had 100 ships in his navy. And Chalukyas of Badami also had a small standing army. So please remember these points. Fourth question says, consider the following statements regarding Chalukyas. Badami Chalukyas were the Brahmanical Hindus. Badami Chalukyas were secular in administration. Both the statements are correct. Therefore, the right option is option C, both 1 and 2. The Badami Chalukyas were Brahmanical Hindus, but they gave respect to all the religions. Hence, they were secular in administration. Importance was given to Vedic rites and rituals in Chalukyan administration. Vedic rites and rituals had importance. The founder of the dynasty, Pulakeshi I, performed the Ashwamedha sacrifice. Ashwamedha sacrifice was performed by Pulakeshi I. A number of temples in honor of Vishnu and Shiva. Vishnu, Shiva and other gods were built during this period. Hyun Sang mentioned about the decline of Buddhism in Western Deccan. Still, Badami Chalukyas were secular in administration. Consider the following statements regarding Chalukyas of Badami. Jainism progressed steadily under Chalukyas of Badami. Ravikirti, the court poet of Pulakeshi II, was a Jain. Both the statements are correct. Therefore, the right option is option C, both 1 and 2. Ravikirti, the court poet of Pulakeshi II, who composed Aihole inscription, who composed Aihole inscription, was a Jain. Jainism was steadily on the path of progress in the administration under Chalukyas of Badami. Please remember these points. Sixth question says, consider the following statements regarding Chalukyas of Badami. Chalukyas of Badami developed Vesara style in the building of structural temples. Cave temples of Chalukyas are found in Ajanta, Elora and Nasik. Both the statements are correct. Therefore, the right option is option C, both 1 and 2. The Chalukyas were great patterns of art. They developed the Vesara style in the building of structural temples. However, the Vesara style reached its culmination only under the Rashtrakutas and Hoysalas. Please remember, though it was developed by Chalukyas of Badami, Vesara style reached its culmination in Rashtrakutas and Hoysala administration. The structural temples of Chalukyas exist at Aihole, Badami, and Patarakal. Aihole, Badami and Patarakal have structures belonging to 
the period of chalukyas of badami cave temple architecture was also famous under the chalukyas uh, their cave temples are found in ajanta elora and nashik these are very important points for art and culture please remember seventh question says consider the following statements regarding paintings of chalukyas of badami the best specimens of chalukya paintings can be seen in the badami cave temple and the ajanta caves the reception given to a persian embassy by pulakeshi too is depicted in a painting at ajanta both the statements are correct therefore the right option is option c both 192 the best specimens of chalukya paintings can be seen in the badami cave temple and the ajanta caves and the reception given to a persian embassy by pulakeshi 2 is depicted in a painting at ajanta consider the eighth question which of the following temples belong to the period of chalukyas of badami lal khan temple durga temple hochi malligudi the jain temple at meguti all the temples belong to period of chalukyas of badami therefore the right option is option d 1 2 3 and 4 among the 70 temples found at aihole four are very important and they belong to the chalukyas of badami period first one is lal khan temple it is a low flat roofed structure consisting of pillared hall pillared hall durga temple resembles a buddha chaitya please remember this information that durga temple at aihole resembles a buddha chaitya hochi malli gudi also belongs to the period of chalukyas of badami while jain temple at meguti is also one of the marvelous structures belonging to the period of chalukyas of badami please remember these points ninth question says consider the following statements regarding the temples of chalukyas of badami Papanatha temple is constructed in the northern style Sangameshwara temple and Virupaksha temple are built in Dravidian style both the statements are correct therefore the right option is option C both 1 and 2 there are 10 temples at Patrakal belonging to period of Chalukyas of Badami 10 temples at Patrakal of these 10 temples there are four temples in northern style while there are six temples in Dravidian style so four are in northern style and six are in dravidian style the papanatha temple is the most notable in the northern style while the sangameshwara temple and virupaksha temple sangameshwara and virupaksha temple are built in dravidian style they are famous for their dravidian style please remember these points so consider the last question for the day consider the following statements regarding the virupaksha temple Virupaksha temple is built on the model of the Kailasanatha temple at Kanchipuram sculptures brought from Kanchi were employed in its construction both the statements are correct therefore the right option is option C both 1 9 2 the Virupaksha temple is built on the model of Kailasanatha temple at Kanchipuram it was built by one of the queens of Vikramaditya too it was built by the one of queens of vikramaditya second sculptures were brought from kanchi to construct this virupaksha temple this virupaksha temple is also at patadakal it is also at patadakal so please remember these points so this is all about chalukyas in this video please try to solve the multiple choice questions before watching the video for solutions thank you